And now the new study linking vitamin D and cancer in a way we've never heard before. Doctors know that low levels of the vitamin can lead to a host of illnesses. But now research suggests that vitamin D might actually hold the key to fighting cancer. John McKenzie has a story. The studies just keep coming. The evidence mounting. Low levels of vitamin D are now linked to so many illnesses, from breast, colon, and prostate cancers, type 1 diabetes and asthma, to multiple sclerosis and heart disease. I even think of vitamin D as the fountain of youth, if you will, uh, in that it uh, allows us to age well. At least that's the hope. And nowhere is the evidence more compelling than here in the laboratory. So all the work here is on vitamin D? Yes. We've got Professor Joellen Welsh, who spent the last 25 years studying the powerful effect of vitamin D on cells. These are human breast cancer cells growing in the flask. Taken from a woman who had breast cancer? Yes. Now watch what happens when you add a potent form of vitamin D. Within just four days, half those cancer cells are dead. It looks like the cancer cells have basically shriveled up and died. The longer they're treated with vitamin D, the more of an effect we see. What happens is that vitamin D enters the cells and it triggers this cell death process. It's similar to what we see when we treat cells with tamoxifen. A drug used to treat breast cancer? Yes. That's amazing. It is amazing. It's, it's a very dramatic effect. That was just the beginning. Researchers here then took human breast cancer cells and injected them into mice. Tumors quickly began to grow, but when the mice were treated with vitamin D, the tumors began to shrink. Look, this one was reduced to half its size. The one here disappeared entirely. Similar results have been seen on colon and prostate tumors in mice. The real test, however, remains. Will vitamin D work this way in people? Other lab work is revealing how vitamin D can actually improve the way cells function in the heart and in blood vessels. When the number one killer is vascular disease, and vitamin D uh, makes our uh, arteries more healthy, basically, allows them to age well. Preliminary tantalizing research on a common nutrient with so much potential. For Good Morning America, John McKenzie, ABC News, Albany, New York.